Do you have an older version of a SQL database that you would like to replatform to a newer version and do it while limiting downtime? Well, good news, the Nutanix database service can help you streamline this process. Hello, and welcome to Tech Bytes. My name is David Teague, technical marketing engineer at Nutanix, and today we're gonna show you how easy it is to replatform an older database version to a newer database version. I'm gonna use SQL 2008 R2 in this video and replatform it to 2019. But you can use this process to go from any older version of SQL to a newer version of SQL. Let's see how it works. We're gonna get started in the NDB GUI. I'm gonna use the SQL database named FiestaDB running on SQL 2008 R2. I previously deployed a new SQL 2019 database server VM as my target for the replatforming. You can use any registered SQL database server as a target. NDB supports cloning databases to a new version of SQL with any of the supported SQL versions. So you could use the process shown in this video to replatform from SQL 2017 to SQL 2022. The first thing we need to do to get this process started is to go to the time machine for the Fiesta DB database. I will do this by going to the database menu and clicking on my database name to show the database details page. From here, I will click on the time machine name, Fiesta DB underscore TM. I will then go to Actions, Authorized Database Server VMs. I will select the newly deployed target database server and slide it to the right, then click Update. Now we can use that server as a target for cloning. You can also add authorized servers during the cloning workflow. I'm then going to choose Actions, Clone Database. And then I'm going to take the most recent backup for my clone, then click Next. On this screen, I will choose Use Authorized Servers. You can see the blue addition icon that will allow you to add authorized servers here. But since I've already done that, I'm going to select the newly deployed database server VM, then click Next. I'm then going to change my clone name, which is the name that will be displayed in NDB, to FiestaDB underscore SQL 19. The clone name does need to be unique. I am not going to change the database name on the VM, as your apps may need the database name to stay the same. The API equivalent button is an awesome feature in NDB. This will allow you to get a script for this operation in many of the popular scripting languages. This can be helpful if you're going to have to repeat this operation multiple times. Once you are happy with the settings, you can click Clone. The cloning process will be completed quickly because it is leveraging the Nutanix Cloud Platform's George Stein snapshots for cloning. When it is finished, you will see the clone listed under the database menu, Clone section. If I switch over to the target database server VM, I can open up SQL Management Studio and see that the database is online. Once I choose Properties, I can see that the database is running in 2008 compatibility mode. With the clone created, you can start testing any applications that are using this database. Once you are happy with the results of the testing, it will be time to do the final cutover. The first step for the final cutover to the new SQL 2019 server is to put the original database in read-only mode. On the SQL 2008 R2 database VM, I'm going to open up Management Studio, select Properties on the database, go to Options, Find the state section and change the database read-only option to true, then select OK. Now that the database is in read-only mode, we're going to move on to the second step, which is to take the final backup of the database on the SQL 2008 R2 server. You could do a snapshot full backup or log catch-up to make sure you have the latest version of your data. We're going to select snapshot, then label it so that we know it's the final backup before the cutover. When the snapshot is finished, we're going to move on. The third step is to refresh the data on the clone of the FiestaDB database. You can navigate there quickly by clicking Clones on the left of the Time Machine screen. Now that we are in the Clone section, we can choose the FiestaDB clone and click Refresh. The refresh time defaults to the most recent, so this process will update the clone with the most recent data that NDB captured with the snapshots and any log catch-ups. This should be completed quickly. Once the refresh is complete, the fourth step is to go back to the Clone screen and unregister the clone from NDB. To do that, we're going to select the clone and choose Delete. However, do not check the Delete the Database clone from the VM. You just want to remove the registration of this clone database from NDB. This will break the clone away from the source database. The fifth step in our replatforming process is to register the database with NDB. From the drop down menu, we're going to choose Database. We're then going to click on SQL Server to go to the Sources page. Select Register, then SQL Server and Database. Here we're going to select the database server VM is registered checkbox and choose the database server VM that was the target of the clone. On the next screen, choose the FiestaDB from the unregistered databases. Select that database and leave one database with one time machine selected. Choose the database name in NDB, 
This name needs to be unique, then click Next. On the next screen, choose your SLA. Because this was a clone, it is currently set to simple mode. This limits us to selecting an SLA that does not have log or continuous backups. We'll fix that shortly, but let's keep the SLA we have here and click register. We're almost ready to use the replatform database in production. However, let's do some cleanup and fix the recovery model of the database. With the original database on the SQL 2008 R2 server in read-only mode, we could leave this registered with NDB, but I'm gonna remove it. When you do that, you have the option of deleting the database's time machine. This will delete any previous snapshots you have. I am not gonna do that as I don't wanna lose the snapshot history. If I go to the time machine page, I can see the original time machine is there, but is set as frozen and will not be receiving any more snapshots. However, you can still recover the database from this time machine if you need to. The Fiesta DB on the new production SQL 2019 server is set to simple recovery model. I'm gonna to go to that server and change the recovery model to full. So then I can do log backups with NDB. I'm gonna switch back to NDB and update the time machine and choose an SLA that has a much more robust protection plan than the previous one. From this point, you can start using this database in production. However, if you have multiple Nutanix clusters registered with NDB, you can replicate snapshots to other clusters. To do this, I'm gonna choose Data Access Management on the upper left of the Time Machine page. Then choose Table and click Add. On this screen, I will select the cluster I want to replicate to and then choose an SLA. And then click Add when I'm happy with my selections. Now I'm gonna click Diagram and you can see the clusters that the database snapshots are being replicated and what their SLA is. If we switch back to the databases page and click on the new Fiesta DB, we can see that it's now running on SQL 2019. That's how NDB can streamline your replatforming of older SQL database versions to newer versions while limiting downtime. Let's take a moment to summarize the steps needed to complete this process. You need to have a newer version of SQL Server Database VM already managed by NDB, as well as the older source database. Databases and database VMs need to have the Nutanix best practices for SQL applied. You can create a clone of the source database from the other SQL versions to the new version, then test as needed. When ready to cut over, put the source database in read-only mode. This will require downtime. Refresh the clone of the new SQL database VM. Unregister the database on the new SQL server from NDB. Do not select delete the database clone. Register the database with NDB. Change the database recovery model from simple to full, and adjust the NDB time machine to do log backups. You can optionally delete the source database when you're done. Replatforming SQL servers can help you consolidate how many different versions of SQL are in your environment and eliminate SQL versions that are no longer supported by Microsoft. If you want to try out the Nutanix database service, head on over to Nutanix.com testdrive. If you want to learn more about NDB, check out the video below.